Hi there, John here. In this video, we're going to go over the basics of setting up DNS and DNS blockless in OpenSense. So the first thing I'm going to quickly show you is how do you change the domain name. So as you can see in the top, our current domain name is called local domain. If we go under system, settings, general, you'll see there's an input where you can change the domain name. For me, I'm going to leave it as local domain. If we go into our system settings and we check the Wi-Fi details, you'll see that under the um, search domains, it shows local domain. If you would like to change it, uh, that is how you would do it. Next thing we're going to set up the basics. So the first thing we want to do is go to services, unbound DNS, click on general. As you can see by default, it's enabled and we'll just for now toggle advanced mode just to see all the options. What we'll do is enable DNSSEC. We will enable register DHCP leases. And then we'll also enable register static mapping. Then we can apply that. Next, if we go under the advanced options, we'll enable pretty much the first five ticks. So we'll enable hard identity, hard version, uh, prefetch DNS keys, hardened DNS sec data, and then strict queue name minimization. The rest we'll leave as is, as there's nothing much to change. And you can hit apply to save. Next we're going to set up our forwarding uh, DNS addresses. So in this case, we have two options. You can forward DNS queries via a TLS, so we can encrypt the DNS queries. And then OpenSense will always prefer the encrypted option. So in this case, I'm going to use quad9 as my forwarding DNS um, servers. So for domain, we'll leave blank as we want all queries to go through there. For the ports on both, since it's TLS, we'll use 853. And then for the verify CN, it's just going to be dns.quad9.net. So to show you where I'm getting these data from, if we go to Quad9's website, this is where the information is. If, for example, your ISP is uh, blocking DNS over TLS, then if you go under query forwarding, this is where we can add the unencrypted DNS servers. So in this case, we'll still use quad nine, but for the service port, we'll just use 53 instead of the 853. Yeah, once you're done, we can apply it and we are ready to continue. Just a reminder that if you have both, again, it will use the DNS over TLS over the unencrypted DNS. The next thing we need to do is tell OpenSense to not overwrite those settings. Since our WAN is uh, DHCP, what it will do is it will use your WAN's DNS address as a forwarding DNS. We don't want that. So under system general, if we scroll down, we must untick the allow DNS server list to be overridden. In this way, OpenSense will always use our unbound forwarder, in this case, quad nine to get um, external DNS data. Okay, now we can move on to the block list or blocking DNS requests. So the first thing I want to show you is if we go into unbound DNS and then block list is how to 
block specific websites so we can enable it and under where it says block list domains we can put in a domain we want to block so in this case I'm going to block duck duck go but now what you'll see is if we test it the blocking won't happen straight away what we need to do is set up a port forwarding that will force all DNS requests to go through our unbind service or uh, through OpenSense so that it can block all requests. Okay, so if we go to firewall and then NAT and then port forwarding, what we'll do is add a new port forwarding rule. So the interface in this case, we're going to just use management. For protocol, we want TCP UDP. For source, we want the management network. So any DNS request coming from the management network. The ports will be from any, any, and then the destination, we're going to invert it. So if the destination is not pointing to a management address, we need to then forward it to OpenSense. For the port uh, destination, it's DNS. And then for the target RP, we're going to put in OpenSense's local RP, in this case, 127001. I'll add it to a log so we can see that it is working later on in the video. I'll show you how it looks. And then you can add a description. You can apply that, so save it and apply. And now we can test our block again so if we go back we see duck duck go is now blocked to confirm that it's not us that made a mistake we can try google.com and you can see if we type in google.com we still get access to that but duck duck go if we refresh again it gets blocked just as a reminder DNS and web data is cached on the browser. So for example, if I remove DuckDuckGo from the block list and I try to refresh the web page, it's not going to show up because this data has been cached. So if I go into Opera settings and I clear all browsing data history, let's say for the last hour, and now we go back and we refresh, we will now get access to DuckDuckGo. Okay, and since I've refreshed the cache, if I try to go to OpenSense, obviously I've been logged out, so I'll just need to re-log in again. Please note that there are other ways to test this where you won't have to always clear the cache and refresh browsers, but just for this tutorial, I thought it's easier to follow and uh, it's a better visual presentation. Uh, with me doing it this way. Later on in the video, I'll show you a way on how do you test if the block list is working a lot quicker without having to constantly clear the cache. Next, I'll show you how to add full block lists. So OpenSense by default comes with a lot of very popular block lists. So if you see under the types of DNS BLs, you'll see there's a huge list of popular ones so in this case I'm going to enable a few of them so once I've enabled a couple of them I'm going to, I'll apply it please note that when you apply it it can take a long time as it needs to download those block lists and apply them once it's done we can test it so in this case I blocked Facebook now again, if we test it, it will probably work since I've got Facebook cached. Opera always caches Facebook. So if we go again to the settings and clear the cache and refresh it, you'll see it is now blocked. To test that, we can access other websites. Again, I'll test, for example, google.com. can see we still have access to Google 
and then we can try something else so for example i added the block list for tiktok so we can see google still works it searches for tiktok but if we click on it it will be blocked and again since i cleared the cache i'll need to re-log into opensense Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is how do you add custom block lists. So if you enable the advanced mode, we'll get a input where we can pretty much put a URLs of block lists of custom block lists that we want to want to use. So I did a quick Google search and I found the specific repository on GitHub that has. Um, some block lists so what we will do is I'm going to copy the dating services block list and we will paste that URL in we'll apply it again that can take some time to apply because it's loading downloading all the data and applying it if we then go and open that specific text file we can see the block list just contains all it's pretty much the RP you wanted to resolve as, and in this case, 000, and then the domain name. And we'll just choose a random one. So in this case, it's elite singles.ca. And if we paste and try to go to it, we can see that that specific site is now blocked. We are unable to access it. So now we want to go in and test that our redirects is actually working. So I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi settings and I'm going to change the DNS to 8.8.8.8. .8 I'm going to apply it and then just turn my Wi-Fi off and on. And I'm just going to make sure that those settings did stick. Okay, so we're good to go. So now if we try access a site that is on a block list, we shouldn't have access to it. So if I still try lead single, it should still block it. To double check, we'll clear the cache, refresh the page, and then we should still not have access to it. Again, since I cleared the cache, I'll just need to re-log in again. If you go under Interfaces, Diagnostics and DNS Lookup, this is a quick way to check if it's working without having to constantly refresh your browser. So in this case, I'll try github.com. And as you can see under the A record, we get GitHub's RP, so it's a 20.87 for 245.0 and the server is unbound. If we test it again with Facebook, for example, you'll see it return 000. In other words, it has been blocked. So in this way, we can quickly check if the block list is working on specific uh, domains without having to constantly open a new browser tab, test it out, clear cache, so on and so forth. Okay, the last thing we really need to do is create a cron job uh, that will update our block lists. So I'm going to set up a job that will run at 12 o'clock each day. If you click on the command and scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see it says update unbound uh, block list, the DNS BLs. So this will each night Go over all the block lists that you have uh, added and then re-download them and re-get all the uh, domains on those lists. So we can save and apply that.
I just want to show you how the logging looks. So first we will just test the redirect. So since my DNS, I've still got it set as 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 if I go to, for example, chess.com and we check the logs here, you'll see there's a lot of redirect um, happening. So you can see from our IP address, uh, the laptop, which is 10.0.0.11, we are trying to get uh, chess.com from Google's DNS, but our router will reroute it to itself and then handle the DNS quest. So this is good for any devices where you can't change the IP address. You don't need to stress our redirect rule or the port forwarding rule will forward all those DNS queries to OpenSense. Now I will set it back to the router's uh, DNS or to the management network's DNS address. Turn the Wi-Fi off and on. Let's make sure settings has stuck. Now if we try, go to a website, for example, we'll go to AliExpress. We'll see in the logs there'll be no redirect rules um, as we are talking straight to OpenSense to ask for the DNS. And you can see in the logs we are getting direct the DNS to Quad9 through TSL. So I just want to thank you for watching and uh, I hope this quick DNS setup guide helped you and then to have block lists so you don't need to use power holes or any extra software you can use OpenSense directly to do all your DNS blocking. If you did enjoy this please like and subscribe I would appreciate it, it would help grow the channel and until then I'll see you in the next one.